Now that I'm older, I don't get mad as much. Anger always got me into trouble anyway. Except this one time, at the pivot point in my windsurfing life. At that time, I knew how to upball a windsurfing rig and hold it so the board sailed straight. I could even pull off a tack or jibe to change direction, sometimes. I spent a lot of time falling in, but hey, if you're not getting wet, you're not learning. And I was doing way better than my first lesson. I could barely stay on the board. I'd fall in, climb back on, up pull the sail, and fall in again. This happened, I don't know, dozens of times? It seemed like hundreds. Exhausted. I must have looked like a drowned rat. But, using my last bit of energy, I managed to uphaul the rig and cruise a couple of hundred feet. What a feeling! It's hard to describe, like the first time you ride a bike without falling, but way more magical. You feel the force of the wind in the sail carrying you up and away. See, what's cool about windsurfers is they're not like sailboats. For both, the harder the wind blows, the faster you go. But a boat heels over and gets pushed into the water. That makes it harder to go fast. Too much and the boat tips. The sail sinks into the water and it's hard to get it all back up. But windsurfers have this magic gadget, a universal joint that connects the rig to the board. The U-joint lets the rider tilt the sail into the wind, so the wind drives the board forward and, this is important, lifts it up. In high winds, say 20 and above, the board barely touches the water. So now I was hooked. I knew enough to get myself out on the lake and back to the beach, as long as there was a light breeze. All I needed to do was lean back a little so my weight was balanced against the wind in the sail. If you do this right, the force from the wind goes through you, down into the board, and pushes you forward. Anyway, that afternoon I had a nice light side shore wind, so I could windsurf across the wind whether I was heading out or in. I'd sail out from the beach and then back in, going a little farther each time. By late afternoon, I was farther out on the lake than I'd ever been. I was having a great time, but getting tired. I decided to head in, which is just when the wind picked up. Windsurfers, we love the wind. The more, the better. Because at about 15 miles an hour, you start planing. That's when you're really windsurfing. But I wasn't at that stage just yet. Now, you might think there's not that much difference between wind at 8 miles an hour compared to 15. But the wind pressure on the sail multiplies by the square of the increase in wind speed. So a small increase in wind speed makes a huge difference in how much force you feel through the boom. It was more than I could handle. I kept getting blown over. Sometimes into the sail, sometimes over the sail. The shore that seemed within easy reach moments ago now looked pretty far away. I could not get the sail leaning far enough over so that my weight was enough to balance against the wind. I got frustrated, then apprehensive. Fear started to creep up in me, which got me angry and finally enraged. I got so mad, I threw myself back, then yanked hard on the back of the boom, which was exactly what I needed to do. The wind held me up, and I shot ahead. After a couple of seconds, I was planing. I was worn out, but adrenaline kept me hanging on as I blasted across the water to the beach. It was glorious. I'd love to tell you that when I got to the shallow water, I gracefully laid down the sail and stepped off. But I crashed. Anyway. I got to the beach, I hauled the board out, and I de-rigged as the sun set. So that's how I suddenly went from leisurely cruising to all-out windsurfing. Later I'd windsurf Lake Michigan, Lake Calhoun, the Columbia River Gorge, Corpus Christi, Maui, any place there's wind and water. Movies by Martino. Small movies. Big fun.